Well, hi. Today, after a long time, I'm going to continue working on this Not Mender radio and finally make this FM receiver something more than just a show. Not the prettiest of things, but uh, well, it works and I do not try to hide anything. So, yeah, this is what the modification looks like in the back. You could make a metal box for this or something, but this is basically what I've done. Um, I'm using an FM kit made by a, a company called Camo, and the, it's the number 256BN. Soldering the thing wasn't the problem. The problem was making this radio cooperate with the PCB. Because it didn't quite go as straightforward as planned. Let me show you why. Here is the circuit diagram of this particular radio. Um, and to power the PCB, I thought, well, it's got a 6.3 volt outlet, so we just use that, put a rectifier in series with it, filter it with some kind of capacitor, and there you go. However, looking closely, you can see that this has a center tap, which goes right to the ground bus. And um, that's not good, because when you put a rectifier on here and um, put the negative of the PCB to ground, well then every half sine wave is going directly to ground through a short circuit. I didn't really know about this center tap, so I just went ahead and installed it with a rectifier and, um, well, it took me two rectifiers to notice that there maybe was something wrong because the first one blew up and I thought well it's just an old one um, and the next one well it blew up as well so I thought well maybe it's not something right so what I did was remove the center tap and um, rock and roll with that which actually goes pretty well the center tap is to reduce hum. When you're powering a tube with AC on the filament then uh, the filament is not glowing equally so it may induce a hum into the sound. Um, so that's just the standard procedure that you take. However I didn't find any hum increasing so it's doing well without the center tab and that's the way I run this thing now. So, what you see right here is the um, center section of the transformer which uh, was tied to ground and I just unsoldered it from the lock, it was connected right here 
and put some shrinking tube around it and just bend it over to the side so it can't cause any contact to ground but it's also um, uh, you can also uh, put it back to as it was anytime you want to so I didn't just cut it off but just tucked it away to the side so if somebody doesn't want it like that later then he can always rewrite it here's how the basic setup looks like um, the original thing is powered by a 9 volt battery over these two locks here um, the transformer on this thing puts out 6.3 volts AC. If we rectify that, that multiplies by 1.4, which is around 8.5 volts. Which is plenty much enough for this, as there is a voltage regulator which puts the voltage down somewhat anyway. So, what I've done here is just that. On here, these two marked with gelb, which is German for yellow, we have 6.3 volts AC that's coming out going into a rectifier getting rectified and uh, filtered through this capacitor to smooth out the humps in the DC and then gets fed right into the uh, FM module it outputs a speaker voltage which usually can be used to plug directly into a speaker. Now we put this back into the radio where it gets amplified. That's basically what they did back then with the uh, original tube FM module as well. So the speaker plus signed um, lug is going to what is signed as white here. Um, which is going into the amplifier when set on FM and the speaker minus is going to ground because that's where the amplifier amplifies between between this and ground furthermore the antenna connection goes to the antenna lock right on the panel here the last thing that you have to um, do well, you don't have to, but I did it. Um, usually, the frequency that this thing runs at or receives is controlled through a potentiometer right on the circuit board. What I did is put three wires on here and mount it to the front of the big turning uh, tuning capacitor. And I machined a little um, carrier which is screwed onto the plate of the big capacitor and mounted with a little screw onto the potentiometer. So as I turn this, the potentiometer is turned as well. Lucky coincidence here, um, this thing makes one half turn from open to close and this thing does as well. So I do not need to miss any frequencies. Now, this setup, just as it is right now, runs, okay? But you can do it a little bit more sophisticated by putting a 4.7K resistor between speaker minus and speaker plus so that this little um, circuit board, this little IC here, has a load so it doesn't run like uh, in neutral. You put a, a resistor of 4.7K between speaker minus and speaker plus and what would go out to speaker plus will be fed through a 22 nanofarad capacitor and then into the white. So let me do that quickly and then we're off. All right, it's not tidy, I know, but hell, it works all right. So, speaker minus, as before, goes straight to ground. Between speaker minus and speaker uh, speaker plus, we've got a 
a resistor and the sound signal is now fed through a 22 nanofarad capacitor into the amplifier section of the radio. So let's put this back together and put it in and see how it works. Have you ever wondered how to properly make these twisted cables like these? Well, for the lazy man, I've got a good trick here. So, I've got the wires just tied to somewhere so I'm sure it doesn't move. Now, you start winding the beginning in a clockwise direction and you put your drill on cut the length a lot longer than what you actually need because you're going to waste the end and the beginning and um, also by winding it up it will get shorter alright so now we're prepared and now we just give it a little bit of a twist and there you go couldn't do it better by hand Did I say before that this is the nastiest to assemble radio I have? Because everything just just fits, you know, but getting it in there is pretty tough and it was pretty tough getting it in there without damaging anything. So as you can see it's working nicely. So, I think that's a success. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.